Buckle up, people. Good to go. Tránsitos, barro, buscas, buscas, pases, gallos, los más chingones. Esto es Radio Santa Blanca. The province is part of the cartel's influence operation, their propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their M.O. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got a narco over here. Where you got him? All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. Influence, the fine art of persuasion, the winning of hearts and minds, the grabbing of the short hairs and holding on. Santa Blanca, smart fucks that they are, figured it out. It's not enough to control the events, you have to control the story. El Cardinal, a true believer in Santa Muerte. If you're trying to influence people, it's an advantage to have God on your side. In this case, the skinny lady, the white sister. The saint of holy death, Santa Muerte herself. Because, let's be honest, there's some things even God won't do for you. El Cardinal, he's on the radio, TV, live appearances, concerts. If El Sueño controls the population through bribery and fear, El Cardinal holds them with something much more powerful. Their souls. How would you like to avoid eternal damnation? Well, luckily, all you have to do is support the Santa Blanca cartel, and you will. On the other end of the public-private scale is Ramon Feliz, the narco-blogger. Don't let the quiet demeanor fool you. He's the SB's social media maven. He's their digital game. A tragic case, Feliz. He used to be a serious journalist, trying to expose the cartel for the psychotic sociopathic dirtbags that they are. But they turned him. Now, he cranks out SB propaganda like his life depended on it. For his blog, for Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. If you're not into El Cardinal, you're into Feliz. They get you both ways. These two are the yin and yang of the Santa Blanca influence machine. 
the sacred and the profane, the public and the private, the heart and the mind. I got a target killing submachine gun. Getting a position. Good to go. Target down. One with submachine guns. Moving to position. Say the word. Dropped him. This is Nidia Flores. If you're a buchona like I am, your entire life people have called you bossy. Madonna. For me, my mother was the first person to call me Madonna. Then it was the other We got a Sicario. Over at the dump. Let me get in position. Ready to engage. Lost visual on the target. Say the word, boss. One less bad guy.
Got it, moving. Ready, call the shot. Target down. I've got two Sicarios, hanging close to the helo. Moving to position. Say the word. Lost the target. Ready, call the shot. I don't have a shot. This is El You've all known me for a long time. Many of you have stood beside me as I fought for the legalization and recognition of our sacred Coca plant. The United Nations has prohibited it. The Americans have been burning it for decades. And our own government has attempted to dictate how much of it we are permitted to do. Our best ally in the continuing struggle against the legislation and the state markets are ancient tradition. Got it, moving. Say the word. Lost the target. Many of our neighbors have been hated by Esperanza Santa Blanca. The good they have done our country is undeniable. Support your local Santa Blanca affiliates. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner in bringing our traditions into the future. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. He's dead. Got it, moving. Say the word. That guy's history. Is up. Moving to position. Ready, call the shot. He's gone.
Moving. Say the word. He's dead. They're on to us. Stay quiet. The LT's making a run for it. They're moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Opening fire. Man down over here. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm moving to position. Ready to fire. Fuck. How about you not let me get shot next time? Got it, moving. Say the word. Got one. Position. Ready. Call the shot. Got it. Que 
We got a 20 on the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there will tell us where he and his girlfriend are. Say the word. They're coming right at us. What's the word, boss? Clear over here. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Right, ghosts. That's a wrap on episode two. Stealth mode was mostly successful. Who knew sneaking around a cartel hideout could be this intense, right? If you enjoyed watching me tiptoe through enemy territory and occasionally trip the alarms, make sure to hit that like button. And hey, if you're up for more stealthy shenanigans, and probably a few accidental explosions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Join the squad by smashing that notification bell so you won't miss the next mission. And don't be shy. Comment below on how you think I did on the Stealthometer. Or just tell me how to actually be quiet for once. Share this video with your fellow ghosts in training. And I'll see you in the next episode. Stay sneaky. Stay sharp and try not to trip any alarms on your way out. <laughs>